The moving finger writes and having writ moves on. Nor all their piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line. Nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. So I, Nilofa Karimboy, dedicate this book on my mother's life to the memory of my father and set it free to the world. Thanks, Mum, for living out the story of my book. If in life we are to be judged by what we make of ourselves, we must also acknowledge that there is another side to us, where we live our lives with the genes we inherit. My grandfather Nasirullah Beg was the son of the Chief Justice of Hyderabad, and my grandmother Saida Begum was the daughter of the Commander in Chief of the Hyderabad Army. the third successive generation to hold that position the wedding of my grandparents was a result of an alliance between the two leading families of hyderabad arranged personally by the nizam i remember it as though it was yesterday an image etched clearly in my mind my mother standing in front of the dresser adjusting the large three piece mirror to see the back of her head The oval mirror with scalloped edges is a hand-me-down from her mother. I can even remember my grandmother's face gazing into it when I was very young. This is the story of my mother who was born a flame, a flame so bright that not all of life's storms could douse a single spark of her intensely free spirit. Every time a wave splashed on her, she rose again with an irrepressible energy. At 16 my mother made a beautiful bride. On her forehead she wore her grandmother's tikka like a blessing, a family heirloom that years later I wore on my wedding day too. You know mom, without being aware I think I looked just like you. It was a love as young as innocence. He was the wind beneath her wings. If she flew high, it was because often she caught the gale force of his strength. Let me take you through this place where history was made and dreams came true while the pain still smelt fresh. It was just a moment in time. The neighbors and passers-by barely noticed the frosted glass signage that read Shahnaz Hussain go up. Then the doors opened and the world spilled in. Having been the person closest to her and having walked the journey with her if i were asked what the single most important catalyst in her success is i would quote her personal mantra i don't believe in destiny you are what you will yourself to be this is a line she quotes and lives her life by her resolute disbelief in the concept of kismet a constant struggle with it is the basis of a life and always will be my mother does not just live life she defies it the overarching indianness of her career vision was obvious and when put to the final test it was clear that it was non negotiable president obama is present in person to honor and appreciate the best and the brightest entrepreneurs of the world The representative from India, a glamorous looking lady, is a stark stunning contrast in the state atmosphere. She represents the ability of her country to allow its citizens that freedom and opportunity. President Obama continues, "I want to thank you for being part of this historic event. Your visionaries who have pioneered new industries. When time overlaps time, There is a confluence of ideas, a boundless flow of creativity. When three generations work together in a business, the result is a fine blend of thoughts, ambition, advice, and experience. That afternoon when I entered the living room at Portman Square, it was washed by the light of the fading sun. I remember her sitting very still on the first sofa. 
The moment frozen in time, the painting now hangs in my mother's home, and I can almost hear M. F. Hussain's voice saying, "Sit still, Shahnaz. I want to bring out your essence." Playfulness is very serious business for my mom. She loves life with a passion that makes every moment tick twice. And then suddenly there was silence. But as destiny played out, you smiled and smiled again. Write a book on me, Nilofar, she had said to the hissing of the coffee machine in Barista. Well, I did, ma'am. I sat down to write a book on you, but it turned out to be much more than just a book. It has turned out to be a treasure of timeless memories. Some good, some bad. It is a story of your dreams and a testament to your struggle. A record of a life lived with love, heartbreak, passion, and above all with unwavering faith. Tomorrow, if things change, when things change, this much will still be true. My promise kept to you, dear mum.